Corey Smith coming off NXN 2019. Clovis, fifth overall. Corey Smith, 12th. How are you feeling first off? Um, really good. This is the best I've done, and this is the best my team has done. Um, the three years that I've come here, last year I got like 50th, and then the year before I think I got 21st. So coming out and getting 12th is a huge deal, and for us getting fifth is exactly what we wanted. I think we came in ranked fifth or sixth anyway, so we came up, we came out, and we showed up, and we did really, really well, and I'm super excited for my whole team. Huge improvement considering the conditions. Yesterday it was sunny, the course was beautiful. Today, muddy after the guys race, horrible. Mm -hmm. How? Take, take me through, how was it? I mean, it's hard because you get out here yesterday and you think, oh, this isn't that bad. Like, what is everyone talking about? It's so nice here and blah, blah, blah. And then it, we get up this morning and it's raining and I'm like, great. And we race second. So you get out here and you're doing your strides on the start and you're just like, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat it. Like, there's no way I'm gonna be able, or my shoe's gonna fall off or something like that. But if you just like not focus on it a lot, it doesn't seem that bad. But when you hit the last, there's like a straightaway after the start that goes all the way, um, and then you turn again. That part, there's like a corner right there. Really bad. It's not good. It's super muddy. I've definitely slipped there a bunch. But like, if you just keep going and just like keep plugging along, it goes by kind of quick. So you don't really think about it that much. Obviously, a third time here. Do you have any other tips for the girls? Um, packing is huge. I think like today, I completely for like the flowy shorts threw us off because if I'm wearing spandex, I don't really care if they're like wet or not. But the flowy shorts were like stuck to me. So my advice is wearing like extra short spandex and socks, like. Packing's huge. Like you get super wet out here, so if you bring extra everything, you should be nice and toasty when you're all done. I kind of forgot to communicate that with the girls. It's just like I think that they know because I've been here a bunch, but they have never been here. So I'm like, oh, why didn't you guys do that? They're like, oh, you didn't tell us. And I was like, oh yeah, my bad. But you, they'll get used to it. It's just one more thing to do. Hanging out here at the Nike World Headquarters with all the pro athletes. How was that? Which, which athlete did you hang out with? Um, we hung out with uh, Vanessa. I can't remember the last name. Oh my God, the one from Stanford. She literally told us and I feel really bad. But she sat with us for dinner. Um, Colleen Quigley was there doing people's hair. I got a picture with Carisha Schweitzer from Missouri and now a Bowerman. And then I, um, they had the Q&A with Evan Jager and Grant Fisher, and that was super fun. But overall, you know, you just, you turn around and there's a pro athlete almost everywhere. And you're just like, oh my God. And then you see these people on your Instagram or on your TV, but like seeing them in person is just kind of crazy. But it's cool. It's really fun being here. I have a great time. Yes, but fifth place of the girls in this stage is pretty darn awesome. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think was possible coming in? Um, we our actual goal was top three. We wanted to aim really high because if two places two places off of top three is still fifth, like it's such a huge deal. So we were thinking aim high. So if we do a little bit like worse, it's not actually that much worse. So for us, like that was our big thing. Like we came into state saying we were gonna win state and we did it. So we hoped if we came in being like we're gonna get top three, we'd get top three. It didn't really work out today, but fifth is still great for us. Awesome. Times go out the window here because the course is so tough, so mm -hmm. slow. But what did you think of the experience itself during the race? How tough was it? Um, it's tough every year. You think it gets easier the more you come. It definitely doesn't. It's because uh, we only race here once. It's not like I'm out here like every day doing this. So for me, it's a lot tougher just because it's completely different from our courses back home. A lot of California courses, courses are dirt and asphalt half the time. Like it's never muddy. Hardly, I've never had to run in the rain unless I've been here. Like it's never been a thing for me. So it's just a completely different atmosphere, but um, it's not necessarily a hard course. It's just hard based off the conditions for us. So it's really great to get out here and experience different things. So when I leave for college, like I don't, I'm not planning on staying in California, so this is probably what I'm going to have to deal with a lot more often than not.